The 1950s saw the start of the new Elizabethan age, with the coronation in June 1953 of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Church services, street parties and television became part of the celebrations, and not surprisingly, many people reached for their cameras to record the occasion. As well as some beautiful colour footage from Eda Moore's collection, film made by the Reverend T.J. Morrissey and Derek Davidson captured the moment in both colour and black and white. The Reverend Morrissey was a Roman Catholic priest at St Gregory's Church, and Derek Davidson was a founder member of Salisbury Cine Society. Their 16mm films show the build-up to Coronation Day and the celebrations that took place in and around Salisbury. Many have fond memories of that day, including Brian Carter and Colin Wade, just schoolboys at the time, but given an important role on the big day itself. Well, Colin, I don't think you've seen this. No, this I haven't. this oh. was our certificate that we'd won. The decorated motor vehicle, special class. Mr. Annex was the mayor, Mr. Richardson was the town clerk. Yeah. Memories, pass it on. I'll have to get you to give me a photocopy of, of this certificate. Well done. That'd be great. In the coronation procession, I was a horse, um, one of the pullers. We were picked out at school. We thought it was going to be a, an afternoon off from school per week. But it was after school activities. But didn't it was work great out fun. really quite didn't as well as we out, hoped, did it? No, no it uh, worked out in the end because it was such good fun, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, yes. I think that's a long rampart road there. Oh, could be, yes, that's right. It looks like the old London Wild Road West, up there. The old Wild West. Harry, there we, we are. Oh, hang on. Okay, don't there, we there we are. Some good looking yeah. lads, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's the old Valerie Lane. Yeah. Reg Broome, who was the, the then manager of the football club. Yeah, secretary of football. And manager. also, like a manager at the hospital, yeah. he used to have the players sign on for Salisbury. And he would give them a job down there to balance their wages up. And uh, some of them would be carpenters, painters and... Fitters. Whatever, yeah. fitters, everything. That's right. He was and the works manager, wasn't he? He was the works manager, works yeah. He was the superintendent and of works. And um, they built it with committee men and built the whole coach and it turned out fabulous. This is another picture Brian's got and it's a super one of him here. That's him, second from the front, and his brother there, Jeff, and my good friend Derek Ratu is that one there, and I'm stood alongside him at the back. So, great lad, and we've got godchildren for each other, and we were best men for each other. So, uh, certainly it's a great friendship, and I'm going out to dinner with him on Friday, so that's a wonderful friendship. There were four boys chosen from Bishop Worthworth School, and our purpose was just to hold a guy rope or a string to steady the giant as it was being taken around the procession in case a wind caught it or when the uh, person was lifting it up that it might topple. Ah, there's the, I can just about see me there, and the, the group of men who took it in turns to go inside to carry the giants and when they weren't carrying it they were carrying big mace or big sword quite a frightening thing the giant the reception from everybody was just amazing yeah, was the queen the fantastic. coronation was a big step change from the war my two children were two years and four so we wouldn't have gone into Salisbury, but they did have a, pro a procession in the evening. And I must just tell you, I've got these friends, gave their memories. Now, Jean Punnett, she lived at Olivia Close, that was on Bemmett Heath. And she evidently, Jean said, she went to a friend's house who had a TV, spent all the morning there, and then went back after lunch with her two children. And they had a street party in Olivia Close. She remembers that. And Barbara, who, lived at Bemerton at the time. St John's Bemerton had a fate and a fancy dress and she won first prize for her decorated pram and she still got the little cup she won. Well, it was quite an exciting experience really to uh, walk through the crowds, the 
The streets were full of people and there's a lot of excitement at that time. And, uh, That's an amazing number of people, but you can see they've all got coats on, so the yeah. day wasn't great, was it? No. Don't know how many um, bands they had there, no. the armed forces. The old army boys in their yeah. armoured cars. Giant bears pulls hard. Oh, this is where young Keith Ayers is, uh, gets involved in this, doesn't he? You see, and then they, well, they had a pint of something. Yeah. We were too young for that, I'm sure. Sea cadets. Yeah, Guard of honour. By boots, where boots was on the corner. Guard of honour for the mayor. Yeah. Ah, there we, we are. are. I think yes. Yeah, so we're moving better than the real horses, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. United Take Dairies it. Milk. Yeah. You should get Jews Road, United Dairies. There's a Chester. Britannia. Yeah. Where are those I have crowds there? This has gone back again. This is the other end of it, I think, because they're still going by the yeah. red line. Look. Oh, that's been quite a big procession. The colour of it was quite fantastic. It was. Everything down to detail. I think in those days you did look for things to do, to take you out of the normal, didn't yeah. you? Because there wasn't lots of things to do. No. And yeah, you, yeah, anything which gave you a bit of a break from normality, you, um, mm. you went for. So, yeah. I don't think the weather was too promising, but in the end it, uh, it didn't rain and uh, ra rather dull and. Uh, not particularly warm for a June evening. We knew the coronation was coming and how my husband heard about it, I don't know, but he went right up to the Midlands somewhere to get this enormous television set. And it was like a big coffin. It was about, well, it must have been about four foot high with a quite a big screen, I suppose, and this enormous cathode tube, which hung out the back and it was all suspended like a sort of sling. And it was that deep, so we had it in the corner of the room and it stuck right out. And it was, I always remember, it was sort of oak coloured. That was the first time I'd seen television. We all piled into our next door neighbours who had a television set and uh, black and white little, little box in the corner and uh, crowded around that. I think we were about the only three or four people on Bemont Heath had televisions. And of course, our all the neighbours said, oh, could they come and have a look? And of course, it came from Alexandra Palace, which was in London. And of course, it, I think we were in a bit of a valley, so the signal probably was quite bad. But anyway, Jim tried his best, and all we managed to see was the Archbishop of Canterbury um, putting the... Well, you didn't see him put the crown on because it was very badly filmed. You saw the back of him and hardly anything of the Queen. I remember that, but it was ever so snowy. I clearly remember not being able to see the procession on television because we didn't have one and not being too fast anyhow. So I know we were basically playing football most of the day. But I seem to recall right at the end of the procession we'd been summoned back for lunch or tea or something before we set off down to get dressed up for this. And I did get a squint of the the end of the, telev the televised broadcast, whatever it was, and, and thinking to myself... Well, it's not very much, is it? Because it was grainy and it was black and white. And so didn't think I'd missed out very much at all. But we enjoyed it. We had a lovely time. We had a good tea together and everybody sort of came in. I mean, we, our house was full of people, but I think a lot of places where if you had a TV, everybody came in to watch. It 
it was quite a community event. People really turned out and quite a lot went on at that time. First, it was coronation. I just remember the doctor gave me a pair of, of earrings, like crowns, and a brooch to go with it. But I think I gave that away to somebody. They had street meals, you know. I remember there was a big street meal around the back, down here or somewhere around the back of St Paul's, and small roads like that, Penny Farden Street and that, you know. They had uh, tea parties along them. I can't remember an awful lot about the finish, but um, it must have been getting quite late at night, I think, when we got there. And the Victoria Park was really full of people. There were lots of other activities going on there. And then I think we just sort of dispersed. Great to see it all again, though, isn't it? Yeah. Can't believe it's 57 years ago. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Mm. <laughs>